This question is of the type comparison of two quantities. Quantity 1, quantity 2. We have to tell whether quantity 1 is less than 2, less than or equal to 2 or more than or more than or equal to 2. And on the basis of that we have been given those 4 or 5 options. We have to tick mark the appropriate option. The bigger problem is not to find the option but to find the relation between these two quantities. Okay. He says five men and five women are to be arranged in a row while sitting in a party. There is a party and ten people are there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Quantity one has to be found out. Number of ways of arranging five men and five women such that no two men or women are adjacent to each other. They have to be seated alternately. So in one arrangement we could start with man, then W, then M, then W, then M, then W, then M, W, M and W. Men are coming in alternate positions and women are coming in between. So basically we have how many positions for men? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 positions for men. In how many ways can we get the men seated? If you read your permutations and combinations then the answer is 5 factorial. So if you don't go, want to go by that formula, a layman's possibility is also there. Let us calculate it. There are 5 men for the first position here. So I am writing equal to, you will be able to understand from where 5 factorial comes. First position can be occupied by 5 possibilities, 5 men, 5 possibilities. So we will write 5. After one man has gone, four men are left. This position can be occupied in four ways. Likewise the next in three, then in two and then in one way. In these alternate seats, we can position the men in five factorial ways. Likewise on the basis of symmetry, we can say that we have 5 factorial positions for women also. On the same way 5 women here 4, 3, 2, 1. So we will say that 5 factorial is the number of ways in which men can be placed. 5 factorial is the number of ways in which women can be placed and they together can be placed in 5 factorial into 5 factorial ways. For each arrangement of men, there are 5 factorial arrangements of women and there are 5 factorial arrangements for men. So total arrangements of all of them will be 5 factorial into 5 factorial. I hope you get it. Now, now one, uh, one possibility is that seating starts with men. The other possibility is that seating starts with the woman. Instead of M, W, M, W, we have W, M, W, M, W, M like that. That is also a possibility. So the total number of possibilities in which you can sandwich men and women is 5 factorial into 5 factorial into 2. 5 factorial into 5 factorial for the first one and 5 factorial into 5 factorial for the second possibility. So our quantity 1 I will write is 5 factorial. I will do one thing, I will erase the board because I don't have that much space. I will directly write the result here. I am erasing the board off. I calculated quantity 1 as 
फाइव फैक्टोरियल इंटू फाइव फैक्टोरियल इंटू टू आई होप यू गेट इट नाउ लेट एस टॉक अबाउट क्वान्टिटी टू नंबर ऑफ वेज ऑफ अरेंजिंग फाइव मैन एंड फाइव वेमेन सच दैट ऑल मैन सिट टूगेदर दिस इज नॉट दैट टफ एज इट अपियर्स बट लेट मी शो यू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन आई टेक द सिंपलेस्ट मैथड बट इन बुक्स आर स्लाइटली डिफरेंट अप्रोच इज ऑल्सो गिवन आई हाउ एवर आई टेक दैट वन ऑल्सो लेट मी टेक द सिंपलर वन फाइव मैन कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट पोजिशन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव ऑल मैन सिट हेयर एंड देन योर वुमेन दे सिट ऑन द रिमेनिंग पार्ट हाउ मेनी पॉसिबिलिटीज आर देयर देर आर फाइव फैक्टोरियल पॉसिबिलिटीज फॉर दिस वन एंड लाइक वाइज फाइव फैक्टोरियल पॉसिबिलिटीज फॉर दिस वन अदर पॉसिबिलिटी इज दैट थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन दैट इंस्टेड ऑफ मैन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द राइट कॉर्न लेफ्ट कॉर्नर मैन स्टार्ट समवेयर हेयर दैट इज वन वुमेन इज ऑन दिस साइड एंड देन फाइव मैन एंड फोर वुमेन रिमेनिंग ऑन द अदर साइड सो हेयर ऑल्सो द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ मैन इज गोइंग टू बी फाइव फैक्टोरियल एंड ऑफ द वुमेन इज अगेन गोइंग टू बी फाइव फैक्टोरियल फाइव वुमेन कमिंग ऑन दिस वन then 4 3 2 and 1 so for each arrangement of men you have how many total arrangements 5 factorial into 5 factorial for this arrangement you have 5 factorial into 5 factorial for the second arrangement you have 5 factorial into 5 factorial let us count in how many ways can men appear together one is this second is this then third would be this one fourth like this likewise you can see that there will be five ways in uh, six ways in which men can come one way men starting here second here third here fourth here fifth here and sixth here so there are six ways in which men can appear together and in each way the combinations are 5 factorial by 5 factorial so the total combinations permutations would be 5 factorial into 5 factorial into 6 and we can now just inspect if we write 5 factorial into 5 factorial into 6 then we don't have to calculate these products you can simply see that quantity 2 is going to be greater as compared to quantity 1 because of this 6 and because of this 2 so quantity 1 quantity 2 will be greater than quantity 1 is the correct answer in this case now as i told you in books what they do is when they count the number of ways in which men can appear together the figure that i got for 6 here how do they do they group men treat men as one group and women as five other individuals then they reduce the problem to arranging 5 plus 1 equal to 6 persons 6 units in six places we are treating the group of five men as one place and according to the whole permutation theory the answer in that that case is 6 factorial by 5 factorial so you get 6 again you can take up any textbook and convince yourself about that but the way i have done is more straight forward it will be easier to understand also so our answer is that quantity 2 is going to be greater than quantity 1 in any case this question has been asked in 2017 sbi po mains exam and i find that this exam has quite a good standard 